What's going on guys? So we were gonna test yesterday and uh, so I fired the car up yesterday up and it sounded like a rod or something was gonna fall out from underneath it. Come to find out, um, I jacked it up and we figured out that the flux plate came loose from the uh, <clears throat> back of the crankshaft. So that's a project today. Today is Monday. Uh, we're running out of good weather here in Oregon. So I'm going to try to get this thing fixed as soon as possible. So uh, we got football practice tonight, but I'm going to go ahead and start tearing into this thing. Get the, uh, get the transmission lease pulled back. Get the flex plate off of it. See if I need to order a new flex plate. Um, we didn't run it for very long. Um, I was just, like I said, I was getting ready to load it up on the trailer and I heard that rattle or knock. I mean, it, I don't know if anybody has ever had a flex plate come loose or a converter come loose. They kind of sound like the same thing. Um, it was crazy. I was, it was kind of a, it's kind of a gut wrenching deal. It's like, God dang it. Something always has to happen. But, um, luckily it was just a minor little setback here. So we're going to go get transmission pulled out and, uh, and see what that looks like. Anyways, uh, then as soon as we're done with that, we'll get back to testing. As you can see, uh, I got the transmission out here. And uh, if you look at the flex plate here, the holes are a little wallered out, but I'm gonna go ahead and keep it and uh, we'll get right into it. So sure enough, that's what it was. The uh, flex plate bolts came loose. Um, Man, I didn't even have any Loctite on them. I don't know what the heck I was thinking. Actually, I don't know that I ever took it off from uh, when I originally put the motor in the car. Um, when it was still nitro still. So, anyways, uh, we'll get a new flex plate and uh, we'll get after it. Hopefully have it here by the end of the week and get the transmission button back up, up back up in there and maybe test this weekend. I got a pretty busy weekend, but we'll see what we get done. We'll see you guys. All right, guys, so the weather's kind of went to shit in Oregon, so I took this opportunity. I'm going to take the transmission valve body out of uh, my car, out of my transmission, my power glide, and uh, I'm going to drill and tap the valve body for a converter charge dump. Uh, I feel like I'm um, talking to a few people uh, that have a similar combination to me. They say that they use that to be able to kill the torque, uh, soften the shift a little bit up. Uh, it's just a good tool. So I'll show you guys kind of where we're at with that So I uh, I drilled and tapped the wrong spot here ignore that I'll put a plug in that and then uh, this fitting is just temporarily uh, In here. I'll have a 90 degree fitting here uh, And then it's just a dash six uh, Deal and like you, you see here uh, See if it'll focus um lighting's kind of bad there anyways that is a converter charge passage inside the valve body uh and then from there we got a dash six line that will go to that fitting right there that blue fitting um and then from that fitting we'll basically just dump right back into the uh um pan after it goes through the solenoid uh, and I'll have it wired up through the ECU to where I can pulse it or turn it on based off time. I can turn it on on the trans brake based off boost. I can do anything the way I got it wired in there. So uh, I feel like that's going to be a good tool. And with the weather being down or with the weather being shit, I figured now is a better time than any. So uh, that's kind of what we got cooking. We're going to go right into uh, testing as soon as the weather will turn around. We get this back together. Uh, and like I said, I'd like to go right into uh, 2024 with uh, the car kind of somewhat lined out. And uh, maybe we'll have uh, a decent piece to go out and play around with. Uh, we got some good uh, some good plans for next year. Uh, we're already putting stuff on the schedule. And as soon as I kind of know what we're doing, I'll let everybody on here know too. So maybe we can catch up and you guys can see the car in person. But uh, overall, that's kind of what we got going on. Hopefully you guys enjoy that part of it. Uh, I was gonna video while I was actually doing this, but it was I was learning as I went, so I'm not really a uh, it's not really a how-to video. But if anybody wants to try to do it with a billet valve body, um, they are, it is a different it looks different than a standard GM valve body in a power glide. So, anyways, hope you guys enjoy, and uh, we'll get right back to testing when we can. We'll see you guys later.